going to make a rabbit today. Here's my mate. He's very cute, he's very friendly, he doesn't eat much, and the cats and the dogs quite like him. He's got a cute tail, what's not to like? And this comes from one of these. It's just an ordinary knitted square. This one has been done in stocking stitch. Very simple, very quick, and you can use up some of your old granny squares that you've made. And this is how we're going to make it. First off, we want to mark off halfway from side to side. So you're, you can see the line of the stitching going across here, left to right. And we're going to mark off halfway with three pins. And to do that, we fold in half and place in a pin on both sides, and then fold in half left to right. <clears throat> Like that. The next part is to thread a needle and to do a running stitch right to left, left to the top in a line across there and a line across there. Secure it firmly before you start. Set glasses to stun and on the, the right hand here I'm just going to whoops, I'm going to do a couple of stitches to secure the thread. And see if I can do it without making a knot. Ha ha. Right, I just took the pin out because I got a, the thread in a tangle around it. I'm going to leave this pin in place and you'll see why in a minute. <clears throat> so I'm going to do a quick up and down running stitch. from right to left so I've now got to this side we've stitched along there and I want to go up here in as straight a line as I can and to do that I'm just going to take a piece of sticky tape and mark off a line from that pin to that pin and we then follow that tape to continue that running stitch. Now we're at that top edge. Let's just take that thread out of the way. Move the tape. So that can now go from that pin to that pin. And we're off again. Okay, and tape off. I'm just going to remove both of these pins. It was important to leave that pin in place so that you could actually draw your line between the two points. This is the fun bit where you begin to see your bunny for the first time. What you do is you start to pull this thread up so you're pulling the gathering thread together. Sorry about the neighbours. Sounds of a happy Thursday in Horsford. Okay, and you keep just very gently gathering up 
and if you lock that thread in place by winding the thread around your finger you can then just pull the gathers and move them around can you begin to see who it is before we go too much further can you see you've got space there on the back we're going to just put some stuffing in there and this is just some polyester holofill fibre it doesn't need to be anything fancy and you push it into the back and just hold on to that thread so that it doesn't unravel too much because you put your gathers in and you don't want them to come out so he can have quite a soft face or you can put a bit more in so I'll continue to pull that up to put a couple of stitches there and that should stop it from unravelling I'm going to put a stitch in what will be the back of the neck and it's just a little over stitch like that okay now if you look the ears are quite big and floppy but they haven't got quite the same feel to them as these ones but what I do next is I fold the bottom of the ear to the top of the ear you can include the little section in the middle of the ear so you've got the end, the middle and the top and I think that just gives it a nice bit of shape I'm putting the needle through the bottom of the ear the middle and then through the top I'm going to pull it up and then I'm going to go back down through the top, the middle and the bottom and then back up again which should hold it all nice and securely in place and then just a couple of holding stitches on the top so there we've got our first ear, ear ear I'm going to take the thread through here to the top of the other ear and do the same in reverse. couple of little stitches to hold that. I'm just going to do some stitches. I'll try to do some stitches going back and forth to seal up the gap because that's where your stuffing has gone in. And you can do whichever stitch takes your fancy. You can just over sew it. Now if you look at this poor unfortunate's face, he looks a bit like he's got mumps. <clears throat> Whereas this guy, he's got some shape. Can you see the difference? Now I'm looking at this and thinking the eyes could go about there. So I'm going to take my needle through the back of the head 
and I'm going to bring the needle up where I want the eye. Now I think a little bit further forward so I'm going to just move it forward a little bit there and we're going to sculpt the shape by pushing the needle down whoops a daisy and just want to straighten his face up and I'm going to go straight through and out the other side. I'm going to pull it up a little bit I'm going to do a very small stitch straight through and be very careful that you don't push the needle through your thumb because it hurts. Voice of experience, trust me, you don't want to do it. And I'm just going to keep going backwards and forwards until I've got the shape secured. So it probably takes, I don't know, three or four stitches. Okay, so we've now got the eye socket. And I want to bring the chin up. For that to happen, I'm going to do a little stitch there. And instead of going through, I'm going to go down here to roughly the middle of his chin okay and then I'm going to go little stitch and I'm going to go up to the eye socket and pull it up can you see how we're getting a little bit of definition on the jawbone there and then from the eye socket I'm going to go back down to roughly the same place if I can. Again, no thumb dabbing. And then from there I'm going to go up to the eye socket on the other side. And I should hopefully now have a little bunny shaped face. What do you think? Are we there? Yeah. And I'm just going to take the needle through the neck, or through the chin rather, down to the neck. I could do a couple of stitches and just trim the end off so that's secure. So now we've cut that end off, we want to stitch along the back. And if you notice, I left the tail on here, and I'm going to get use a wool needle. To thread a wool needle, lay the yarn across your finger, place the needle over the top, fold the thread over, pinch it, and then push the eye of the needle over the thread, pinch it again, and you're threaded. And we've got the two edges here, or the two sides, which we're going to bring together. And you might want to just put a couple of pins in to hold in place. And I'm just going to over sew. Over sew, not over throw. I want to go all the way to the top of the back and the bottom of the neck just to ensure that the stuffing doesn't come out. Okay. And here. And I'm then going to do a little running stitch back down the back. And we're just going to pop this bit of stuffing in here. And at this point, we're going to put in something to give him a bit of a, a firmer base. 
just got a piece of card and a marker pen and go to place him the base would probably be around that point which I suppose is about half a centimeter in from where he's sitting so I'm going to very carefully just mark in about half a centimeter in at the front the back and the sides and then approximately make an oval from a bunny bottom. We have a cardboard bottom. For our next trick, I'm going to do a running stitch around this bottom section here. There are rather too many bottoms in this, aren't there? And I'm going to do it in the this stitching here, which was the casting on row. I'm not doing it in the ditch here because that will push that and give you a <laughs> it'll give you a puckered bottom, darling. When you're cutting this bit, be very careful that you're only cutting thread and not the stitches. The next section I'm going to do is putting his eyes on. I like button eyes. You don't have to use buttons. These are two slightly different ones. You know, if you're doing a little rabbit, sorry, like this guy, you can stitch on a sequin. You see he's got little sparkly eyes. We are very nearly there. <coughs> to finish off, have you noticed what we need to do? What's he got that she's not? I thought you'd like to see a collection of different rabbits. So you've got these two, which came from the, uh, was it six or seven inch squares? This is a bigger one. And we've given her a little flower for her ears and she's got her ribbon. But she's also got a felt shape which has been stitched onto the bottom. And that makes her very nice and stable. And we also have this little cutie which came from I think it was a four inch square and this one has some little whiskers which is just black thread threaded through from side to side and a little anchor stitch on either side and also has a little rose and a cutie little tail which is that was made on a very narrow ruler. So those are your bunnies and I hope you have fun with them.